Hey everyone, how is it going? Today I have another special video for you. I'm going to show you a really cool trick that's going to help you generate unlimited gradients. Yes, you heard that right. Unlimited ideas. This is actually not a clickbait. So let me show you how that works. Open your photo in Photoshop. I'm going to open this one. I'm going to go ahead and crop to have only the model's face in the frame. Now go to gradient map, click on this color bar. For the type, select noise, change the smoothness to be 20% and then uncheck restrict colors and then hit randomize. Whenever you hit randomize, it's going to generate a new color palette for your gradient. Some of them actually have to be reversed. So click OK and then reverse it to correct the colors. So you can play around as much as you want to generate new colors until you find something that you like i think this one stands out in particular because i'm not able to make changes to the colors i'm gonna have to manually make a new solid gradient that's gonna have the exact same colors as this one so using command shift 4 i'm gonna take a screenshot by drawing a rectangle right above this gradient our screenshot shows up in the corner for a few seconds i'm gonna drag and drop that in photoshop select all by using command a copy with command c and then paste it with command v in our project zoom in and then create a new adjustment layer by selecting gradient map make sure the gradient map is placed below the screenshot before we start extracting the colors make sure the gradient map is selected and not the mask so double check and make sure the gradient map is selected and not the white layer which is the mask then click on the gradient to make changes and start adding points to make it look exactly like the screenshot we're going to select the point on the left Left, we're gonna color pick the one from the gradient and then select the other shade that we see in the screenshot and then the light parts as well which are on the right side of the screenshot so that our new gradient looks similar to the screenshot obviously you can still make changes you can tweak colors and that's the whole point of recreating that screenshot so we can customize the colors also if you want to save this gradient you can hit this new button which is going to add it to your presets so there you have it a pretty creative way to create unlimited gradients i hope you like this if you found this helpful like this video if you think someone else needs to see this go ahead and share this video make sure you subscribe for future content we've been posting pretty much daily videos for the past few weeks so you might want to check that out as well and i hope you're gonna have a great day i'm gonna see you in the next video